lot of ideas out there. You've uh, suggested on the campaign trail that January 6th was an inside job, that the plot to kidnap Gretchen Whitmer was an, a job of inside entrapment, it was. that the well, House Republicans... The we know that. Well, let me finish. That the House Republicans' impeachment inquiry is part of a Democratic plot to sideline Biden, um, that there is a devious Democratic scheme to actually nominate Nikki Haley. The reality is none of these are top issues for Iowa and for Iowa voters. So why are you focused on these conspiracy theories? Well, hey, focus we is a heavy-handed word, Dash. If you take 80 percent of what I said, I'm talking about policy and future direction of the country, talking about how we'll increase the supply of energy to bring down the cost for everyday Americans. And so that's 80 percent of what I'm talking about. But I'm not going to hide from what I do believe are realities hiding in plain sight that people deserve to know about. Which the last item that you described, it's not a secret that Larry Fink is going to fundraisers of Nikki Haley, propping her up, mm -hmm. that actually one of the mm -hmm. biggest funders of the lawsuits against Trump, including efforts to keep him off the ballot, is Reid Hoffman, the founder of LinkedIn, that's a quarter million dollar donor to super PAC supporting Nikki Haley. And so I reject this mm -hmm. mainstream media general narrative of dismissing something as a conspiracy theory, right. when in fact I'm a big fan of they, going after facts hiding in plain sight. But you, you know that when Gretchen you say Whitmer. these things, you know when you bring up the Gretchen Whitmer thing, you know when you bring up January 6th being an inside job, yes, 80% of what you talk about might be policy, but when you hit those issues, oh, no. that's going to take over the news cycle. You know how it, it works. I don't think it should. I'm speaking the truth. But as you're it a smart evenly guy. You know how it works. Are you using that to, to get attention as you've been to slumping the contrary, in the polls? To the contrary, I'm actually to speaking to the You have a lot of political time? analysts that look at this helper? and say oh, exactly yeah. what you're saying. What am I here for? Yeah, is that like a, is that like a helper? Is yeah. she, is she, is she, is she all, oh, wait, is she like a fact checker? Is she going to like fact check him on the spot yeah, or something? Yeah, you're talking about the real chicken on the left, right? The, the, yeah. the pink, the pink yeah. girl. Yeah, she's a real-time <laughs> yeah, fact afraid. checker. I was just wondering like why she just slowly looked over to her. <laughs> right, that was the weirdest thing. That was funny. Was that was that? hilarious. Okay, like, why did she do this? this? Saying, why aren't you just saying what causes you to pull this? That's what politics. every other political <laughs> candidate's doing. They're taking what their consultants serve them up. Here's what the voters say are the top issues. Spout back so to them what the voters want to hear. Bad. So why? I'm sharing my true convictions, and I think if we want to revive our constitutional republic. We deserve a government that tells the people the truth again, no. not just when it's easy, but when it is hard. Our government has systematically lied to us on things that really matter of the origin of COVID-19. We were told for years no! that it didn't come from a lab in China <laughs> when it absolutely mm -hmm. did. In fact, you were suppressed on social media for saying it the eve of the last election. Yep. I think it's shameful that the Hunter Biden laptop story was systematically suppressed. But so that's voters not didn't what you're talking about. You're talking Ooh. about talk Gretchen about, Whitmer being an inside a, job of no, a government talk about that has that lied to its people. The same FBI that's investigating conservatives, the same FBI and the same law enforcement apparatus, Jack Smith, that has subpoenaed millions of Americans for anybody who liked or retweeted a Donald Trump post in 2020. That's Orwellian, but that's the same yeah! federal law enforcement apparatus that put people up to an alleged kidnapping plot that they otherwise wouldn't have been put up to. Multiple defendants acquitted on grounds of entrapment. And so is this, is this a top issue that voters bring up on the mind of voters? Absolutely it's not. But if the mainstream media is pushing, and the establishment in both parties is so pushing one not, established narrative. So if it's not a priority for voters, why are you so focused on it? Because truth is a priority for me. That's the answer. You truth is the truth is the priority for this campaign. And I don't need I'm to be come. speaking to what every other professional politician is spouting off. We need to speak the hard truths that other candidates are unwilling to touch. And even though that doesn't poll necessarily on what you know, NBC or the Des Moines Register or another media outlet is going to ask voters what are the top issues on their mind. It's important. What really is important to many voters, I believe, is a government that trusts them with the hard truth again. That that's hasn't happened for a very long point. time. And that's so my view brilliant. is if that's like what the that. voters want, that's what they're going to get from me. What, they that, want somebody that who we should like, be able to trust the government? Well, because it's like uh, if, if, let's say, Chris Christie gets elected, like he, he just he no. goes along with these narratives. And so you can't, there's going to be huge chunk of this country that will never trust anything that you know comes from him and so yeah I, I i like his angle there i mean it's he's saying and he deals with her questions so well here he doesn't you know start you know uh uh what's that called gish galloping or any of that he just basically says look i, I don't really care if this is polling i'm i care about what is true in these cases the media doesn't care we know that you know that's great pointing that out because they're they don't care all they care about is you know repeating a narrative uh, Steve, is that her actual name, Brianne Fafnenschneel? Yes. Who is it? Nice. Who's Fafnenschneel? 
the pink lady. Oh. The pink dress lady. She's kind of creepy. What is she doing? What's her purpose? Moral support. <laughs> okay. If, if, if the woman doing, if the other woman doing incremental charge. reform things change tax rates by 1% in one direction or another and call that a legislative accomplishment, go with somebody else. That's not me. But if you want a candidate who is actually going to revive the ideals of 1776, who is going to trust yeah. the people transparently Damn. with what the government knows yeah. to be true, if you want a government yeah. that actually is of and for and by the people again, I think I'm the sole candidate in this race who can deliver that. Yes. Yeah, man. I'm going to vote for Vivek, Take man. Oil. Vivek. I like Vivek. I feel you. It's not made out of snakes, I, I swear. Trump should be Vivek's VP. I know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I believe Trump, I believe that should be Trump's VP. What's oh, up, man? Oh, no, you specifically <laughs> said Trump should be Vivek's VP. Right. <laughs> exactly what you said. Yep. But, uh... How about new? How about new? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> if you think about it, Riddle, that means that he could be a president again four years from now when he's dead, probably, right. but, you know. Think, you Wait, is that... Chess, what... bro. Is that? I think. Can well, you here's the thing. That? I think you Vivek. Do, can you be VP when you're? Oh yeah, you can. Fuck. I don't see why. Yeah, not. I think. I think. I think Vivek should be the uh, successor to Donald Trump. You know. Hey, Riddle, join the VR chess, bro. The VR how how many times chess. can you be a vice president? That's my question. I think you can only be vice president two times, like the president. Interesting. Yep. We'll get him in. Well, yeah, there you go. He used to be the most interesting vice president ever. <laughs> well, <laughs> Trump. It, yeah. it depends if you're a farmer <laughs> or a reporter. Because if you're a farmer... Vivek, Vivek, can... I'm telling you. <laughs> Vivek. Vivek, Vivek. Listen. Did I pronounce Listen. it wrong? No, dude. It's <laughs> fine. And the only reason well, I know it's, it's Vivek is because of his little rap. He says Vivek rhymes with